Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're once again back at Soul Belly Barbecue on Main Street in Las Vegas' Arts District for another songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar. If you'd like to be on a future showcase, hit up Hal Savar using his social media handle I've put down in the description, along with the social media handles for every act mentioned in this video. Now then, are you ready to get a little spooky? Listen well, our living friends, and me for how we all met our ends. Oh my god, Tyler, they're gonna sing about how they died. I know, I'm scared. <gasps> This video is brought to you by Select a Ticket. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Normally known for award-winning barbecue and righteous live shows, Soul Belly Barbecue dressed up for the season. It's always fun to come to Soul Belly, and if you haven't been there yet, you should. Kicking things off like usual was our host, Hal Savar. Whether making a living as a human jukebox for his day job or thrilling audiences with his original music, Hal is a master at grabbing an audience's attention from the first note he plays. With a little self-effacing humor and a whole lot of talent, his music is part inspirational and part comedy, and was a great way to start the night. Following Hal was the young phenom, Camelise. This teenage songwriter hit the stage at the last showcase and blew everyone away with her old soul energy and raw passion. With great use of dynamics and time changes combined with a soaring voice and energetic guitar playing, she took the torch lit by Hal and proceeded to light a fire. After Cam was another amazing young songwriter named Caroline Tronoski. Making nice use of her lilting voice and mellow songs, Caroline's music draws the listener in and creates a peaceful lull amidst the hullabaloo normally present at a show. Like so many of the performers at this showcase, you can catch my interview with her and a special performance right here in Room 6 on the channel. Changing things up a little bit was the next act, Joe the Associate. We've gotten used to seeing Joe perform with a band, but this time he flew solo, and it was refreshing to listen to just the raw essence of each song, the way he wrote them. Joe's always a hoot to watch, because you never know what to expect from this free-spirited songwriter. Following Joe was the two-piece known as All at Odds. This act makes fun music with some tongue-in-cheek lyrics and a nice balance of folk and comedy, with Rick Munson jumping on backup vocals for the first time in my memory and in showcase history. Their vocals and guitar playing bounced off each other well and set the stage nicely for the next act. But first... And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. Hey, you. Do you like football? You like saving money? Well, you're in luck. Select a Ticket has the best seats and best prices available for any event, including concerts, Broadway shows, and, of course, sporting events. Experience the difference with SelectedTicket.com, and they're all in pricing. No added fees at checkout, no delivery fees. That means the price you see is the price you pay. Just for watching this video and for being part of the Room 6 family, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off every purchase over $100 on merchandise and tickets to your next NFL game. Just enter coupon code NFL10 at checkout. Thanks to Selected Ticket for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. Before we move on, I just want to say thanks to all my new subscribers and followers. If that sponsor spot interested you at all, I hope you'll use the link down in the description to help out the channel and help save money. Okay, enough panhandling. Money, please! Following All at Odds was a brand new act to the showcase made up of two brothers named Liam and Dylan. Immediately jumping into a catchy pop tune, this duo grabbed everyone's attention with their obvious talent and attention to songwriting. With a little bit of college rock and a touch of pop, each song of their set left us wanting more and I sincerely hope we'll see more of them on the showcases and on Room 6. Grabbing the reins from the brothers next was an impromptu duo made up of House of R and showcase regular Nicholas Morgan. Nicholas decided to have some fun with his set by first playing on some of Hal's songs and then having Hal play on some of his. Their writing styles are a bit different, but it all just worked together. Considering this wasn't a rehearsed thing, they pulled off a great superset of music that had the crowd clapping. Hitting the stage next was longtime showcase performer David Wax. David's music can be summed up in one word, storyteller. 
From carefully constructed chord structures to lyrics that evoke images and tales in the listener's mind, David is a consummate performer that deserves to be a household name. Following David was Jeremiah Neal, a face we don't see nearly enough of. Jeremiah's sound is a little bit of Jack Johnson and a little bit of Jason Mraz with some blues sensibilities thrown in. His set was a little shorter than other acts, but it was high energy and had all of us wondering why the heck he doesn't grace our stage more often. After Jeremiah was TJ Lavin, another face we haven't seen in a long time. Blending acoustic with rapid fire of vocals, his set gave some punk and ska vibes. Having traveled all over the world, he has plenty of tales to tell, and the audience ate up every one of them. I hope we'll see more of him in the future. The last songwriter of the night was Richard Kasmus, who seemed determined to end the night with a bang. Joined by his band, Kasmus and the gang proceeded to blow the roof off of the place with their trademark acoustic rock and roll. With soaring vocals and a tight rhythm section, this band deserves to be on your radar. They were a great way to finish out the night. Overall, the latest installment of the Songwriter Showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue was a hoot. Terrible! The next one at Soul Belly will be on Sunday, November 19th. Can't wait that long? Check out the live stream from uh, this month's showcase using the link that I put down in the description. The next showcase that I'll be live streaming will be at Punk Rock Museum inside Triple Down Bar on November 6th for, it's a basically an acoustic showcase highlighting a couple of local punk legends, really. So I hope that you'll check that out. It's from 9 p.m. to uh, 11. There you go. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll swing by Soul Belly if you're in the area of Main Street in the uh, Las Vegas Arts District. And I hope that you will check out all the acts mentioned using their social media handles down in the description. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, you know the drill. Click over there, ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.